good morning and welcome back to a brand new weekly vlog. It is Monday, but it's bank holiday Monday today. Oh, I'm down. Um, so we both had a bit of a late night as well last night. So this morning we've got our picnic blankets out, our uh, sunbathing gear on. We're gonna go have a picnic in the park and have a nice chilled day off. Maybe a takeaway later. Because we've not had one in a while. So yeah, happy bank holiday Monday. I hope you had a good one. And welcome back to the start of a brand new weekly vlog. Got my coffee over here, my boyfriend over here, <laughs> and then what have we got? What? These are Market Deli pizza chips, they're incredible. And then cinnamon swirl, what's in here? <gasps> I didn't know you got that. Sausage roll, cheese grapes and then we might have a barbecue instead of takeaway tonight if the weather stays like this dig in cheers roof open shades on we've just been at the cricket for a bit because tom had to pick something up the car <laughs> and now we're gonna go get some food in and go to his mum's and have a barbecue yay Woo. Mm -hmm. oh don't burn yourself is that it? As easy as that? There's something so nice about watching fire, isn't there? <laughs> Smells good too. It's nice and warm. Smelling good. We didn't have any burgers left, so we had to make them from minced meat. With four special ingredients, apparently. Let's just let you uh, carry on. We've got chicken thighs over there and sausages as well. Yummy! There's only one secret ingredient. One secret? <gasps> Look, that one's like a love heart. Is that one for me? Oh, yeah. Oh, thank you. Yum. Tom's dried straight in. <laughs> Full plate already. <laughs> Good morning. Oops. Today is Tuesday and uh, this morning I'm working from home and Tom is out at the bar working from there. But later on this evening we're heading into Manchester and we're going to watch Titanic the Musical at the Lowry which I'm very excited for. I'm not sure whether we're going to go earlier and have some food or not depending on what time we finish work but um yeah excited for that so i'll obviously bring you along to that this morning i'm just getting on with some editing really and i'm gonna go grab some breakfast and uh feeling much refreshed after 12 hours sleep this morning tom says he still feels a bit tired but i'm i'm good i'm uh, back to where i want to be a little bit of an update this morning i know when you saw me last i was in the same place i have done my hair since um because i am finding things to do to fill my time because my laptop is dead and i cannot find my charger anywhere so who knows what i'm gonna do i tried calling curries they were like we think we've got one but you have to go down and test it and see if it'll fit so i was like brilliant <laughs> living without a laptop it's made me realize how much i use it uh, i need to edit a video and have that up tomorrow but i'm in manchester tomorrow i feel lost without having one i'm like i don't know what to do i'm just like on my phone but then there's only so much you can do on your phone so i might put some washing on and wait for tom to get here so that we can go into manchester hopefully a little bit early we will see and we're off and the bank holiday sun has gone because it's now raining. Yay! I think it's meant to be raining for the next few days as well. Tom's just picked me up and we're gonna go head in, get some food. Are you decided where we're gonna eat yet? Just think what's at the Lowry. I suggested, is it cow? Is that how you say it? Yeah. But you don't really rate it. So tomorrow I'm... Oh. Hi, pal. Hi, Tom. God, Tom, careful. As I was saying, Tomorrow, I'm going to a lunch with Label Mix, which is a brand with a, they've got a pop-up shop in the Arndale and in Next. You might have seen a couple of clips when we did the Next um, Bloggers Brunch or lunch that we did. So they are taking us to 20 stories in Manchester to have lunch. And then Harvey Nix have invited me down for a cupping massage. No way. Yeah. Tomorrow. Although it's a ma I can choose what that what treatment I want, but they do do cupping. Tom's always wanted to try it, so I'll let you know if that's what I go for. What are you after? All right. I just stopped at his mum's or something. I don't know what. But anyway, off to Manchester now. I'm super excited, and I will see you there. Well, I'm a cheap date tonight. We're going to be too late to have food, so we're just going to run in and grab a sandwich. I think. Sing it. 
<laughs> Tom knows the words to like, what you, who even is this? Dr. Dre. Oh, Dr. Dre. I've never heard of Dr. Dre. Oh, yeah, he's the biggest millionaire in music. <laughs> Yeah, that was better than the ballet. I might have cried a couple of times. Tom was laughing at me and then the two women next to me were absolutely blubbering. So I felt more with them than I did with you. It was so good. I highly recommend going to watch. Now I'm just gonna cry all the way home. It is literally like my favorite film though, Titanic. So it was a good one for us to watch. No Jack, what's there? I was waiting for the Jack. Come back, Jack. But there was no Kate Winslet, no Leonardo DiCaprio, and no Celine Dion. <laughs> Good morning, quick outfit of the day before I head into Manchester. These pants are from Pretty Little Thing. Shoes are old from Office. I'll link some similar. All Saints. And this was, I can't remember. I think it was possibly Vasula. I'll link it below if I can find it. And then these necklaces are pretty little thing. Tom's all packed and ready to go to the races for two nights with work. Oh, we now have Monkey in Manchester, which I didn't know. It's cute. Anyway, I'm gonna go and meet Lydia now, take some pictures before going to 20 Stories, which is where we're having our Lunch, oh, this is cute as well. We're in. Going up, going up. Oh, you don't even have to press anything. <laughs> I'm here with Lydia again. Yeah. <laughs> we're here for an event with Label Mix this time, and we're at 20 Stories, which I've never been to before. Super excited. And it's a little bit windy, so it's an open terrace it's at the top, something. Yeah, like that. I'm hoping we're sat inside yeah. because it might be a bit windy. Mm. Views from the toilet. We're just saying the fact that it's like floor, you feel like you could just step out. Oh, we've got the Hilton over there, which is similar. That's 23rd floor, their bar. That building there I used to live in. And then where we probably can't see Manchester House this side, can we? Because they've got a 12th floor bar yeah this is uh this side of Manchester <laughs> other things to go to so unfortunately we've missed the best part. We were excited for our Manchester tart yeah. but it we've, didn't happen. We've got little goodies as well so I'll show you what we got later and um, yeah I'll leave Lydia's um, Instagram do you want to see will. Not on YouTube yet. <laughs> She's going to be on YouTube, YouTube then. YouTube. Yes. Hopefully. Keep making that promise. We'll do some but... videos together. Yeah. I'll get her on. And uh, yeah off to Harvey Nicks now. Pit stop at Hotel Chocolat because apparently they've got some chocolates waiting for me. Oh, my ears are going. Are you are Oh, that's horrible. <laughs> Just got home. 
home finally home sweet home I did I don't know if I did a little clip then I don't know if you caught the fact that I was on a bus because there is a bus from Burnley to uh, Manchester and the train there was a train strike on today so a few of us had issues getting to the event but we finally made it and I had a fab day so I, I don't know how well I caught like captured the day because I was kind of like here there and everywhere but essentially Tom dropped me off at the bus station in Burnley in the morning then I headed into town and what did I do first I went to um, a couple of shops met up with Lydia and went to the 20 stories for lunch which is um I don't know why I said the 20 stories, it's just 20 stories. <laughs> and it's in Spinning Fields. And we went with Label Mix, which is um, a brand on Next Online. So I will leave a link to their clothes below. There's some really, really nice pieces. There's a pair of shoes that I'm after. There's a um, couple of shirts as well that I really like. So uh, yeah, I'll leave a link to them below. And also they've got a little pop-up shop currently in Manchester Randale. So if you are local to Manchester, do go over and check it out. It's a bit more premium than next prices, but honestly you can tell with the quality and the design and everything as well. We, all of us there absolutely love the brand. So I was so excited to go and have a lovely lunch with them. And then I headed off to Hotel Chocolat where I picked up a couple of goodies that they had waiting for me. And I believe these are, there's two here. These are called the M box. And the first one is a dark selection. And then the second one is the everything selection, which has a uh, wafer praline, which sounds amazing. The blondie, which is a favorite of mine. These are gonna be consumed tonight, I think, as long with my cheeky little McDonald's that I picked up in Burnley just before getting the bus back and then a taxi home because Tom's away for the next two nights. He's away with work slash works do. They're going to Chester races on Thursday. So that should be a heavy night for them. So he's away tonight. They're up early, off to the races on Thursday. Back, oh no, staying in Chester Thursday night as well. I'm back on Friday. So I won't see him until then. So tonight I'm gonna chill with my Mackies, my Made in Chelsea catch up. Um, I thought I'd actually just show you what I got from Label Mix as well, just before I settle in for the night. And I'll just pop you there. Also, the way that they decorated the table at 20 Stories was amazing. They had a florist come in. I love the branding actually. I even said that to them. Really like the simplicity of it. It's also fairly new. It only launched in September 2017. Correct me if I'm wrong. I think that's what they said. Oh, cute. Inside there's a little personalised note saying, Freya, thank you so much for joining us at lunch. We hope you love your label mix piece. Love, Fran. Thanks, Fran. And then there's a bit of information and press release if you want to have a quick read and just pause it. And then inside we have, oh my God, it feels so so nice so it is a little white and black polka dot piece and the designer for this um piece is kitri i hope that's how you pronounce it and i got it in a size 10 as you can tell it's this little crossover jumpsuit how cute is this i'm definitely gonna have to style this up and do a little post on my instagram which is Freya Farrington 1. If you don't follow me, head over there and be sure to check it out because if I haven't already posted it by now, I will be doing so very soon. As soon as this sun decides to come back out again after this really hot bank holiday weekend that we've had, I will be putting this straight on. This feels so nice. Honestly, what I'll do is I'll link it below because I highly recommend you um, try this out for yourself. And like I said, if you're local to Manchester, do go into their pop-up shop, have a feel of it, discover how amazing the quality is. And now, dun, 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 it's Maggie's time. I went for a double cheeseburger and chips, and I even got a little apple pie for dessert. Oh, also just quickly, this last night was incredible. I had to like, all the girls were asking me at the lunch because obviously I did a few Instagram stories. Really, really good, I highly recommend. And for now, PJ's on, time to indulge and watch guilt-free trash TV. That is my plan for this evening. <laughs> Do 
Good morning. It's half nine in the morning. I meant to be going to meet Emily this morning because it was her birthday a couple of days ago and I haven't had a chance to see her yet. So I really wanted to see her and I think she might be working from home slash have the day off today. So if she is available, then I will be going to meet her very soon. So I'm holding off in terms of eating, but I thought I'd just make myself a quick instant coffee, which I'll be honest, because I go and get the booze coffee every morning now, when I taste instant coffee, it's nowhere near as nice, so I do have to have a spoonful of sugar. But, um, yeah, that's the plan this morning. I'm just editing the vlog that's going to be going live on Sunday, so I still need to do that. I'm not sure on our weekend plans yet, so I'm not sure whether Tom's playing cricket or not. So he's coming home tonight, which I'm so excited to see him. And I think we might go out for dinner or something tonight, we'll see. But for now, I'm gonna crack on with some editing before Emily messages me. And then we, oh, also I got a parcel to, uh, yesterday. So I'll go, um, I'll open that with you later on. It's from a brand that I've never shopped at before. So it'll be interesting to see what they've sent. And uh, yeah, I will do all that in a bit. And for now, crack on with coffee and editing. Cheers. Doing a bit of work, Emily's just pulled up. So she's just about to see her presents. We're at the lounge, in case you're interested. So we've come for breakfast. <laughs> this is the card I got Emily. Very fitting with She's Ralph. actually not stolen any chocolates yet this year. Oh really? <laughs> kind of looks like female version. <laughs> so taking a quick detour to Matalan and then there's DK Maxx over there. Little shopping trip. I mean, we are working, we're just doing research. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Hey. Come for a pit stop for a cuddle. A little bit windy, so you might not be able to hear me, but just dropped off, stopped. See Ralph at Emily's, and then now I'm gonna head back. Gonna nip into our local charity shop. Just have a quick browse on route back. I thought I would walk home because getting a few steps of the day and then back to editing this afternoon and then seeing Tom later. We might be getting a takeaway now from the bar instead because we've just launched takeaway menu which is exciting. And that's the plan for the rest of this afternoon. Just got home and I did go for this little Baker Boy hat which I actually thought was a really good price. Okay, the rope bit's fallen off, let me just fix that. See how cute is that? And obviously with my current obsession with all the neutrals, then this is like the perfect beige stone color with a white pinstripe. And I love that rope detailing on the front. It's kind of like sailor slash baker boy hat. This was only 5 dollars so I thought that was a pretty good price from TK Maxx. And yeah, I was craving a twister lolly, which I haven't had in years. I say years, I probably had one last summer. I don't think I did actually. Well anyway, I was craving it for some reason. I think it was because I was thirsty. I got home and I literally got a pint of water and you know when you're that thirsty, that first massive gulp of a big pint of water is like the best feeling. Oh and then also I got some fruit for fruit salads. I don't know why I was just craving like fruity flavours. So I'm going to enjoy this right now and I'll catch up with you in a bit. Hello. Did you go to the bar? I just popped in the Oh, yeah. <gasps> yum. Yeah. Chuffle mac and cheese. Hello. How's it I've not seen you in two days. <laughs> you missed me. <laughs> Good morning. It's actually Sunday today. I am coming from you coming at you from a new vehicle. It is just a hire vehicle, but I have it today whilst Tom is at cricket all day. So I figured um, it was meant to be potentially raining. So I thought not bother go and watch him play. However, it's turned out to be pretty bright. So 
I'm still going to take advantage of having the car and maybe go into Burnley whilst the sun's out at the minute and just have a quick browse and then maybe head over to Clitheroe later to watch Tom play uh, just depending on how I get on. I was going to go over to Leeds Ikea but it's just over an hour to get there and I figured I would wait until I next go home because it's literally the halfway point before seeing my parents going to their house so Whenever I next, when I get a car situation sorted, they're out today, so I can't do it today anyway, but whenever I next get a car situation sorted, I will use that as my pit stop halfway in the middle and do an Ikea shop then. Um, considering I don't actually need anything, I was just going to go for a browse and maybe do like an Ikea haul or something, I figured save it until I actually maybe need something or when I'm on route home anyway. Anyway, I feel like I'm rambling, so I'm going to end this clip here. Just heading back to the car now. Let me just get in. Oh, why do I do this? I always try and get in the car when I've got all my bags on me. I should have just put them in the boot. But anyway, I did pick up a few bits from charity shops. Another couple of trips, and then I probably will do another charity shop haul because I feel like one in particular, one thing in particular, I love so um i hopefully it fits but i'm sure when i get i'll make it fit it's one of those things that is a bit oversized so it will be fine and now i'm kind of at a loss of what to do it's half one so i should probably get something to eat the sun's out which is amazing i might go back via there's a tk max range and b&m so i might have a browse in there first and then decide what to do food wise back in the car with tommy uh, because i actually went over to watch him play cricket in the end had a quick browse around burnley but the football was on so it was very busy so i decided to come over to watch this one play cricket and this time he won you happy much better so we're gonna head home now i think craving cheese on toast for dinner so we're limited with it being a Sunday night where is open. Where, where open are we should we go to the bar I'm not really dressed for the bar we can get takeaway it's not really on route though is it all right plans might change then um but yes there's been a few things that I was going to show you in this video my ears are popping coming down here um, oh, oh, but I'll show you tomorrow so you'll see it in next week's vlog so sorry for making you wait a week but there are just a few bits I wanted to show you from a, a new brand so I'm going to end this week's weekly vlog here thank you so much for watching do you have anything to say? no you look like a gangster with them shit you know what we said we said you all look like blazing squad when you stood there in a big group oh, all in the same tracksuit I used to wear different with your shades on anyway um yeah thank you so much for watching and i'll see you again next week bye guys oh you got a kiss from tommy <laughs>